it because I am. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Sonia and I'm so happy you stumbled upon this channel. So today I wanted to do a mini book haul and a mini bookshelf reorganization. Um, I put off reorganizing until I got these books because there's quite a lot of them. And I was staring at my bookshelves as weird as that sounds and I've just noticed there's like so many knickknacks now that I kind of want to take some off because I want my books to breathe I don't really like that much knickknacks on my shelves so I'm gonna have to go through everything and see which ones I want to take off but yeah so it's nothing too big because I already like the layout of my books the only main shelf that's going to be the most reorganized is this one right here because this shelf is my random fantasy shelves and the majority of the books that I am hauling are fantasy and there's one specific book which I will also show you that I really really want to display hence having to reorganize and play some Tetris so it can fit properly. Um, but first things first what have I been reading? Um, I just finished The Prison Healer by Lynette Noni yesterday and I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I actually really, really enjoyed this book. It was so much better than I thought it was going to be. Um, so I went into this book thinking that it was going to be like Throne of Glass but if Selena never left the prison because that's how someone explained it to me which kind of made me go for it for this to be my first read of august and it's kind of like that but our main character kiva is she's not really like selena they have similarities like their um willingness to survive because they know that there's bigger things that they need to do um but in terms of like personality i don't think they're very similar because selena she's got no filter she'll tell someone off Kiva, on the other hand, she's very like quiet. She just allows people to call her the names. I don't want to spoil anything because like even just like the smallest thing would spoil something. But yeah, and I didn't expect the ending. If you read the book, you know what I'm talking about and I didn't expect it. It was probably like straight in my face, the um, the plot twist, but I, 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 I didn't expect it, which made the experience even more better. So yes, um, 4.5 out of 5 stars. I cannot wait for the next book. So on to the actual book haul now. So um, I got five books from bookoutlet.com. One of these books is a Fairloo exclusive edition that I did unbox on my July Fairloo unboxing video. If you want to check that out, I'll leave it somewhere up here. And then I also got one classic novel that a really good family friend of mine got for me. So let's start with the Fairy Loot book because it's the first one up here. So I got Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim and this edition is so stunning. I love the lavender and pink hues so much, even like the sprayed edges and the stenciled. It's just so beautiful that I wanted to display this book. So I haven't put this on my shelf yet, but this was the book that I wanted to display. This is a retelling of the, no, 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 no. I don't remember what the original story is because this is a retelling and I'm super, super excited to get into this. Um, I kind of want to like throw away my entire August TBR and pick this book up because it sounds super interesting, but I'm going to be good and I'm going to wait even though I don't want to wait. But yeah, so this is the book that I want to display. So the rest of these books I got from Book Outlet. Bookoutlet.com is, oh by the way, this is not sponsored, but Book Outlet is a discounted uh, book, online bookstore kind of thing. I personally love Book Outlet because I do not like spending $20 on one hardcover book if I can get five of them for 35 with free shipping. So I prefer Book Outlet. Keep in mind though, Book Outlet does not usually have a bunch of popular stuff. It's first come first serve but it's it's amazing and i love it and with every purchase you get you receive some points the more you, points you accumulate you're eligible for higher coupons or discounts so i managed to save up and i am eligible for 20 dollars off 
in my next book outlet purchase. However, I'm going to save on to that until Black Friday because I want to go crazy. And after this book haul, I'm going on a book buying ban because one, I have no more room on my shelves. And two, I have my TBR is just like building, building, building that it's like, it's ridiculous now. So I'm putting myself in a book buying ban, but I digress. Let's actually get back into the books. So the first book I got was a Black Panther novel, Shiri by Nick Stone. Now I did not know that this was a middle grade. Um, I was confusing this with another book like Loki and Gamora and Nebula, like that series. But then I remembered that there's only two books loki and gamora and nebula so i found out that this book is actually its own middle grade um novel that's just based on cherry and i found that to be really really interesting and um it's basically if you told Shiri a fight would be waiting for her the first time she left Wakanda, he'd roll her dark eyes and wave you off like a conspiracy theory. So despite this being a middle grade, I'm still gonna read it and most likely enjoy it because Shiri is probably one of my favorite characters in Black in the Black Panther movie. She's just awesome and she's iconic and she's a queen. So I'm totally fine with it and I can't wait to read it. And the next book I got is Bookish and the Beast by Ashley Poston. This is the third book in the Once Upon a Con series. I read Geekerella and I loved it. I want to read The Princess and the... It's not Frog. The Princess and the Block? I am forgetting. What's what's it called? The Princess and the Fangirl, not Block. It's The Princess and the Fangirl. So I'm super excited to read that and I found this one and this one I'm actually more excited for because of like the cover is stunning okay and then the end papers are just they're beautiful so i'm i'm super super excited and i want to pick up the princess and the fangirl hopefully next month and if not next month then sometime in december because i already have my october tbr picked out but yes i'm super excited for this one and the next book that i was literally so happy that i managed to get was How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories by Holly Black. And this is illustrated by Rovi Rovina Chai. I loved the Crow Prince trilogy and I've been wanting this specific book for such a long time because it's it's so beautiful. Like we get to learn more about Cardin and just like the illustrations in here are absolutely stunning. So I'm super, super excited to read this and I'm happy I get to add this to my collection. One thing is that though, my Cruel Prince trilogy is all the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition, so it's got black dust jackets, so this will be kind of set apart, but it's fine. I literally, I got this for $8, so, no, 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 $7, $7, so I, I'm not, com I don't want to complain because that's a great deal. The next book I got was Girl Serpent Thorn by Melissa Bash Ardost. I found this book during a fairy loot unboxing video, and the cover's just stunning. Like it's, it's beautiful. I prefer this one over the fairy loot because of the beautiful shade of blue, but it's just, it's beautiful. And it says there was, and there was not, as all stories began, a princess cursed to be poisonous to the touch. So I'm excited. Um, I don't know if this is a standalone. I'm honestly really, really hoping it is. Personally, I am starting to love fantasy standalones, but this, I, I don't know if it is a standalone. So yes, I'm gonna have to do more research to see if this actually is a standalone because I haven't heard of any other book by Melissa B. So I'm gonna have to do research. I can't believe I didn't think about that until now. And the last book I got from Book Outlet is We Free the Stars by... Hafasa Fizal, and this is the second book in the We Hunt the Flames trilogy, or is it a series? I think it's a trilogy. Um, I haven't read We Hunt the Flames, but this was $20 on Amazon, $7 on Buck Outlet, so I just impulsively bought it, and plus I wanted the free shipping, so yes, and this bad boy is thick, it's humongous, and I don't remember if I mentioned this, but if you have, if you want to get stuff from Book Outlet and you're kind of iffy about it, um, let me help put your mind to ease. I was very iffy about Book Outlet because for me, some places can be very, very sketchy. However, Book Outlet is a reliable source to buy books for a great deal 
The only thing is you just have to be careful because there are some books that are listed as specialty products. Specialty products are books that get are damaged. They're like really, really badly damaged, which is why they're discounted at a lower, lower price. I happen to filter my website to always be bargain books because I prefer my books to be in nice condition. And another thing is sometimes book outlet will put a little marking on the bottom or the top of their books. And honestly, it's not that bad. I swear to you, it doesn't like bleed in onto like the actual page. It's not that bad. But other than that, I mean, it's it's pretty, pretty good. So I, I highly, I always tell people about Book Outlet because if you can get a bunch of books for $37 in mint condition, like why not? And the last book that my uncle bought me, I'm so blessed to have this i've been wanting this book for a long time i've just been saving up why he bought it for me i have no idea because i told him i was saving up and plus i need to read the other classics that i have but he got me this beautiful edition of war and peace and it's in the three volume set and they're so beautiful and so stunning they have a ribbon bookmark i'm not sure if you can see and they smell amazing and they're so simplistic like i think that just makes it even better so like this is volume one and then here's the spine it's so simplistic and it makes it even like it it looks so much more prettier i haven't decided if i want to keep them inside of the box or take them out but yeah so i also need to reorganize some of my classic shelves or i'm gonna have to unfortunately display these on my white shelves i i gotta figure it out so yeah that's all of the books now it's time for the reorganization so let let's do it i'm gonna start now um and then i'm gonna go help my grandma cook but i wanted to try and get some progress done even if it's just like get an idea of how to organize them so let's stop talking and let's, let's actually get into it unhaul any of these books because I haven't even read them so I can't just unhaul them. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave it and then focus. I might have to reorganize this shelf too because I have a bunch of smaller hardbacks including which is steeped in gold that I need to put on the shelves and I also decided that I'm gonna bookish and the beast is gonna be with my contemporary books obviously and then cherry is probably gonna have to go down there as well on my white shelves because the only middle grade i have over here is my percy jackson shelf so we're gonna have to move those two over there <music> feel about this. I'm getting a liking towards this shelf mainly because of six crimson cranes. I have a feeling I'll reorganize it later. I decided to take off my Marvel Polaroid bookmarks only because they're everywhere on here and they're hiding some of the spines so I'm gonna display them probably on my art wall but I think I'm gonna leave it for now. Um, I stack, these are just like duologies, my completed duologies, so I think I'm gonna leave this here. Since these are like my shorter fantasy books, there's not much else I can do. The Beautiful and Witches Steep Steeped in Gold didn't fit, and I didn't want the stack to be all the way to the top because it's already to the top here. Um, 
And I'm honest, I'm gonna have to move this golden flame. I just don't know where I'm gonna put it because I don't like, it's like so cramped. It, to me, it looks so cramped. Actually, hang on. That looks a little bit better. I'll just have to figure out where to put the secret book. Um, War and Peace, however, I legit have no room. Um, I might have to display War and Peace on my white shelves for the time being. I would put them on my desk, but there's, there's just no room. There's absolutely no room. So I'm going to have to display War and Peace on my white shelves. So yeah, I mean, I'm not, I don't hate it. I mean, this just proves even more why I need to go on a book buying ban. The only thing that's kind of irking me right here is the color scheme because it's so pale and pink and pretty and then you got like all these darker, darker spines and it's, mm, I don't know. I really don't know. I need a new, I need some more shelves. And now that I'm thinking about it, I technically can put War and Peace up here. I would just have to move my Avatar book or I can put it next to my Sherlock Holmes collection, which is totally fine. And then I'll leave the books inside of the sleeve because I don't want dust getting on them, even though I dust my books every day, but still. So I'm going to go and see if my grandma started cooking because she doesn't tell me if she's cooking. Um, and then I'll probably come back after I eat lunch and all that stuff. So, so yes, I'm going to leave it for now and we'll probably, I'll probably rearrange everything again. So yes, I'll see you guys soon. Um, it's 4.02. I've been at this for four hours and it was supposed to be a mini bookshelf reorganization. And so let me just, let me show you the white shelves. It's still basically the same but here let me show you so here's the white shelves i did put shuri right here these are just some random middle grade books that wouldn't fit on the brown shelves and then i kind of had to extend the blues i have a lot of blue spines which is fine but i put bookish and the beast right here so it's like a nice ombre and then I reorganized some of the blue books to kind of flow a little bit better. On camera it looks nice. I might play around with it though a little bit more and then I obviously wanted to have Anna K displayed outwards because I really really love the cover. So yeah and then the brown just extends a little bit over here so that's this situation. And this is how the other shelf turned out to be. The prison healer is a little bit hidden, but it's fine. I mean, I can't really complain. I tried so hard to make this aesthetically pleasing. Um, I don't know if I did a good job or not. I tried to put, put the dark colored spines over here, so like the gilded wolves and all that stuff, and then kind of lighter, and then obviously these two are not light, but I kind of just went like as best as I could. I put the mug, ceramic mug that we got in a fairy loop box on top, so it wasn't right here. And then you can see six crimson cranes. And then I did end up moving the King of Elfham over here, along with the darkest part of the forest. So these two are at least together. I did put it down there, but it looked so weird. I like, I couldn't stop staring at it. So I just like took it out and put it up there. And it's totally fine because it actually looks better. Like, so, there is that. Um, I don't know. I kind of like it. It mainly because of six crimson cranes. So I kind I kind of like it. Then for this shelf, I did do a little stacking so I can fit Empire of Dreams book. My fingers aren't even the camera right here. Empire of Dreams. Um, the only thing that was different off of this shelf was I took off my Tony Stark Polaroid and left the little quote. And the same thing with my Dark Academia shelf. I just took out the sacred book. I put it up there for the time being. Um, I really have nowhere else to put it and it's kind of like this. It's more minimalist. I kind of like it a lot better. Um, I did want to leave the Wicked Hearts playing cards however right there so it looks it looks good. Um, there wasn't really 
any other reorganization. I did put War in Peace up there because, again, I have no place to put it. I did also move the Polaroid bookmarks right here where my desk is. Um, I actually kind of like it. It's it's so pretty. Um, I was thinking of moving 40s Bucky over there with my Cassandra Clare books, but then I was like, mm, that wouldn't make any sense because they're all right here. So I just left it here. But yeah, overall, I'm, I'm kind of pleased. I'm really pleased. I did take off a lot of knickknacks like wrap and gun tin we got i put wrath in my little box for now i love it but again it just it was kind of taking it away taking away the aesthetics of the bookshelf so i did take it off and now like my books they can breathe i feel like they can breathe a lot better and i like that so yeah and Nothing really happened with contemporary shelves. Whenever I get a new book, all of the books just shift because I do it by rainbow order. So that's really the only big thing that happens. Worst comes to it in the future, if I accumulate more, I would have to just sacrifice either my fangirl or Anna Kay and not have to put them on display, but that's, that's fine. Like I said before, this was supposed to be a mini bookshelf reorganization video and it took me four hours but it's fine because I did get lots of progress in and the Green Gables I've been reading this since I think June and I finally hit chapter 22 um so I'm a little I'm a little halfway there I am loving this book it's so so cute I love Anne and her relationship with Diane it's ugh, it's beautiful I love it I love it so wholesome so yeah now that all of that's like fixed i'm a lot happier i don't know what do you guys think about the arrangement do you guys like it i kind of am digging it um i might change some stuff here and there like this shelf who knows but right as of right now i kind of like it so i'm gonna leave it alone and get started with another vlog because well i'm running out of content so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye <laughs>